Now, my next guest was that girl, that girl of the 1960s, and she is now using her platform for activism and making people smile through the holiday season. Take a look. Your mom never believed in it, but I think this village is magic. In fact, I know it is. It's full of Christmas spirit and possibility. Really? Mm -hmm. You just make a wish and watch what happens. Where do the people go? Anywhere you want. Oh, Chloe, let your imagination fly. Please welcome Marlo Thomas. Marlo! Marlo! <laughs> Take your time. How are you? Come on over here. Much. Oh gosh, is... I'm gonna come back here every day. Yes, you have to. <laughs> it is so good to see you. Thank you. And literally, looking at this trailer for your upcoming movie, it's getting me in the holiday spirit. Oh, I know. It is. I love holiday Christmas <laughs> movies. So what's coming in your upcoming movie? It's called Magical Christmas Village. Right. What what happens in it? Well, what's great about it is there's, you know, if you've ever seen a Hallmark movie, there's always this love story in it. Yes. Well, our movie has two love stories. Uh, Ali uh, Sweeney, who I'm sure you've seen in many yes. of these films, she's so good. And Luke McFarlane, if you can't see him there, he's such a hunk, he's just gorgeous. Yes. And then we have a love story, the daughter and I. And so we fight, we don't really get along, I move in with her, and then we do get along. And it's, 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 it's wonderful to see a story about a mom and a daughter where it really is like home, oh, you know? Yes. <laughs> you know what I, I so love about you is you're doing the most amazing work with the St. Jude's uh, Hospital. You, I mean, we just... It is. And it's actually the St. Jude's Research Hospital. Yes. And, and it's just, and you've really made an imprint with the hospital and in, in everybody's lives, especially children who don't have any kind of, you know, you make sure that they don't have to pay. No, nobody pays at St. Jude for anything. For nothing. No. So... But you know, I, I, everybody always thanks me for my work at St. Jude, but the work is being done by the scientists and the doctors. I'm just a wheelbarrow. I put the money in the wheelbarrow and I, <laughs> you, and you I take it, it to the hospital. But, uh, 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 well, and I, I'll tell you something, of all the things we could ever accomplish in our careers, there's nothing more exciting than watching a kid who was sick go home. And go home without that stress of the money on this. Yeah. So can you tell me why you have a thanks and giving campaign, why that's so important to you? Well, because at this time of year, we're saying, you know, we're all very lucky. Our children are happy and healthy, thank yes. God. And so give thanks for the healthy kids in your life and give to those who are not. So. And then, you also, you don't stop working either, Marlo. <laughs> you are so busy because you have a Williams-Sonoma collection. Yes. Out now. Can you tell me about that? Is yes. it something special for the oh, holidays? I wish I brought some of the Ooh. things. Oh, well, I can come to your place and I, get I, it, girl. I uh, oh, but it's so exciting because Phil and I have traveled all over the world. In fact, our anniversary, we've been married for 42 years. You and Phil Donahue. <laughs> 42 years. Uh, uh, he's the greatest. We're married because he's such a great guy, really. Oh, well, he's married to a uh, really is. wonderful he's a, woman. He's yeah. a great guy. He's a great guy. But on our anniversary, from the very beginning, we decided that instead of buying presents for each other, we would take a trip. We put our money into yes. a trip. So we've been to China and Japan and Russia and Bali and Italy and France. And so... Uh, yeah, yeah, there the we are in Italy. That's us in Italy. Um, it's so funny. We were on this Vespa in Italy, and Phil didn't want to get lost, so he looked at the sign, and it said, Una Vista. And I said, okay, great, so we know where we're going. Anyway, uh -huh. we w drove around and around and around until we realized that it meant one way. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, you know. <laughs> So, Look, the, so I jump into a cab and I say to the cab driver, don't lose that guy on the Vespa because he has no idea how to get back well, to where, the hotel. Where he's going. 
And it's so funny because, and Phil Donahue, as you know, is like the legendary, iconic talk show host. <laughs> Phil Donahue. Because your, your podcast is called Double Dates. Uh -huh. uh, you and Phil have a podcast together. Right. Yes. And, you, and you talk about that going on double dates. But do you and Phil, still, after 42 years, do you still have date nights? Oh, we have date night every night. All right, Chris, <laughs> what? <laughs> well, you know, uh, when you've got kids in the house, which we had five kids in the house, yes. so then you have to have a date night. But when everybody's gone, I mean, every night is date night. <laughs> <laughs> But I will tell you about William Sonoma. When we were traveling all those places, uh, I picked up things. I'm a great shopper. Yes. I'm sure we all are great shoppers. Uh. But I love to buy things for the table. I love to have dinner parties. And so I collected all of these things, these old antiques, wooden and silver antiques from Portobello Road and beautiful china and things from, from uh, Ravello, Italy, just yes. beautiful stuff. And so that inspired the collection. And so it is very unique. You must go on the website and see William Sonoma, Marlo Thomas. You will just love the pieces. I, I do. In fact, I'm giving a dinner party. OK, so when you have your dinner party, you're going to have it. Yeah. I love William Sonoma. Now, uh, I, I just I'll, I'll send you something. You want red plates or blue plates? Ooh, red. Yeah. You got it. Like red plates, yeah. yes. Thank you. <laughs> Now, I just got to say, because I used to watch that girl with uh, my grandma and it, it loved watching on the show. And I remember the hat, and you threw it up in the air. <laughs> At the end, you were in the trailer, uh, you threw it up yeah, in the air. Yeah. So you played. That uh, was fun. You were on That Girl, then you played Rachel's mom on Friends. Yes. It's such, like, you have fans of, of all ages. So what does that feel like, that people just know you from the little ones to the well, it's nice cause because it's, I, I, I feel that I grew up with everybody, right? Yeah. So there are people my age and then, and then the people that are like Jennifer Anderson's age, you know? So that I, it's nice to know that when I walk down the street, somebody will say, oh, I just love you as Rachel's mother. Or free to be you and me meant everything to me growing up. And I yes. yeah. So uh, it's... Uh, I, I get a lot of love from people. I mean, really, uh, and this nice audience, you know. Uh, <laughs> because we know you. So, I mean, you know, it, it really makes it worth the fact that I had to get up early and put on makeup. <laughs> <laughs> because we... <laughs> if I came here and you didn't like me, I'd be really depressed. Oh, not at all. <laughs> We are so glad that you oh, came here. Oh, thank you, Shay. And just keep working and keep, we just Look love you so much. how beautiful you are. You lost a lot of weight. I did. <laughs> like 35 pounds. Wow. Like 35 pounds. I'm trying. I'm trying wow, so hard. I interviewed you for my uh, AOL I show. I apartment. Yeah, you remember? And, yeah, and you were a big woman. <laughs> <laughs> But you still got the boobies. You still got the boobies. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You got a good memory, girl. You do. Marlo, thank you so much thank for coming by the show. Thank you. A magical Christmas village airs Friday at 8 on Hallmark Channel.